is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps, and today I came home and I found a treat by my door. This is a new company. I've never tried them. Um, so I'm going to open them up. These are fragrances, and I'll let you see the niche. Mm -hmm. We'll think if we can see if we like, if we don't like. Um, we'll see. I can't remember. The neat thing about this company is, one, the prices are good, which is comparable to Nature's Garden. And two, every time you buy an 8-ounce fragrance, you get a 1-ounce fragrance free. Talk about a loss leader. That's just awesome. And then, in March, they had a 5-for-5 um, five five deal where you could get 5 fragrance oils for 5 bucks. So, of course, I bought more. We're going to be trying out a lot of their fragrances, see if we like them. Um, and using up and making some bigger orders of soap, which is awesome. I can't wait to, um, to show you what I've got in my artsy, artsy head here, trying to, to, um, create. So, let me open it up. Here, I'm going to let you guys see. I've got, it's tightly packed, which is always, always good for fragrance oils. You don't want anything to leak. So the invoice is on top. And I, I've gotten some, some, some fragrances that are a little different from my norm. So we'll see if we like. I've gotten some perfume fragrances. Uh, I love these. I am kicking every one of these. These are biodegradable. They're like my, my pods. They just dissolve, which is awesome. So I'm going to pass that awesome off to one of my customers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I'll just I'll just store them in this, this container. I think they're made out of corn or something. They smell like popcorn. I think, and again, I did order a popcorn fragrance. I've been playing with maize in my beauty formulations, and so I was wanting to make something special for my sister. And for me, there's a certain favorite maize product that I want to see if I can make mine own. Okay, so we'll see. I got enough out, I think, super as to see what's in there. Some of it. So I think I got seven fragrances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And so there should be seven fragrance oil uh, samples in the bottom. So get down there. Zoom in a little bit more. There they are. So there's all my freebies. And this isn't because I'm doing a video. It's because this is a pretty awesome company. I hope their fragrance oils are nice and strong. If they're not, it doesn't matter. I won't be buying again. So we'll see how they hold up. There isn't the same detailed description of how they hold up in soap that I was able to see or how they act. But... Uh, I really like these. Can you guys tell? I slowly take every single one out. All right, so let's start because I want my nose fresh, and I'm actually going to go get some coffee beans so that I can, um, in between each one, get a less um, skewed opinion of these. So if the company is called Aztec International. And the first one here is called Coastal. And these guys are in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I like, first of all, I like that they're flip top. That's really nice. Here, so let's turn so you can see my reactions to each fragrance. Because I have one of those faces where <sighs> you know what I'm thinking. Right? <laughs> so if I'm wowed, it's going to be like, oh! <laughs> right? And if I'm not, it's going to be like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so I'm going to actually, I didn't smell very much when I took that off. So maybe they're lined. Yeah, they're lined. So this one again is called Coastal. So I'm on an island, and I was thinking, I need to do some more water scents. 
And I love water scents. They're very perfumey, though. Not everybody likes them. All right, I'm going to have to use my knife. Try not to cut myself. Definitely a water. It smells familiar. I, I like it. Let's see how strong it is in the bottle. Nice and strong in the bottle. I wouldn't mind if it's a little stronger. But I like it. It's got, you can look up the, the, the fragrance description online at AztecCandles.com if you're interested in this one. It's a very, very strong water scent, and I like it. Okay, so there's the first one. Okay, let's move it so you can see the names. If there's something you want to get for yourselves, you can. Let's get the company name up there. All right, so the next one. Cutting off my head. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the next one is called banana split. Now I've made, already made molds of real bananas. So I've got these wonderful strawberries and bananas and I took blueberries and raspberries. And I want to make a banana split loaf. So that's, that's why I got this one. Um, I think it'll be really fun for the summer. And then I want to do a whipped soap ice cream on top for my high top. Um, so we'll see and then place them in. We'll see how it goes. I have to show you guys that new, the new soap. I haven't done that yet, I don't think. If it's here, it'll be under the cotton candy soap. And it's not a cold process whip soap. It's a little different. All right, so banana split. I like it already. I, it smells like candy. Oh, this is really, really strong. This is exactly what I want. I can smell the strawberry. I can smell, do you see the difference? <laughs> now that I like food scents. Oh, I hope this does well in my soap. I'm definitely gonna use a vanilla stabilizer um, in equal portions and see if it helps because that's really good. I could put that on the bottom of soap cupcakes and then put bananas and stuff on top and it would just be, wow. Um, I wish I'd bought it. Whole, well, I'll be buying more of that one if it holds up. We'll see. But the fragrance profile, wow, like, wow. Okay, and it isn't too overpowering with the banana. Too many, so many of them um, have way too much banana um, that it doesn't smell like a sundae. And this smells like banana is not the first thing I smell. It's more of a kind of a citrus note, which is like the strawberries. Of all things usually those get lost the berry notes get lost when you have something like a banana in my opinion yeah this is good it's really well done Aztec okay now I better go get some coffee all right so now that I have my cup of coffee it's gross. Um, I don't actually drink coffee but I love the smell of it just and this is doing more than just me enjoying the smell of coffee. Even if you don't enjoy the smell of coffee, it will cleanse your palate. It's kind of like the French um, consomme that comes in a proper seven course meal. It's cleansing, all right? So it cleanses your palate. And this is just folders. It's not even anything fancy. Okay. All right, next one. Tropical Mojito. Now, I love making um, uh, cot it's not a cocktail, I guess it's a mocktail mojito, because we like blended virgin daiquiris and that kind of thing, and mojito, the combination of lime and mint is one of my absolute favorites. And because I grow my own mint, I'll be able to do some infusions. Um, in my oils. So I'll have that fresh kind of wild mint scent that isn't really captured in an essential oil. And if this works, that's going to be fabulous. All right, so let's see. Str 
try not to cut my stuff. Okay. That's my mess. I don't know that it smells like, okay. That one's a strong one. So as it left my palette, I could smell the lime. The lime is not readily apparent. I don't smell the mint though. It's nice and strong though. That's, that's the main thing. Sometimes, like I said, when I was testing the blue raspberry from Nature's Garden, no, anyway, another soap company, um, they're really, really strong. And so I can't really give you, um, an opinion based on my first impression because first impressions might be skewed. So this one doesn't have the mint notes that I can detect as strongly. And the, I don't know, I, I don't know. I detect more alcohol in this one. It's a more alcoholic smell. Yeah, on the outside and on my fingers, I can smell the mint. So in manufacturing, yeah, I can smell the mint. And so dilute it down. This might be good. So that's Tropical Mojito from Aztec. That's a maybe. We'll see. I'll let you know when I make some soap with it. And I'm actually going to try to get the smell. Because when I open it up with those things, I'm getting it. So I'm going to have very dirty fingers. So there's something here I can wipe my hands off with. Yeah. I had my towel. That works. That works. It was a gift. What a wonderful gift. This is going in my soapy kitchen. This is from... One of my children had a candle on it. So that works well. So I don't get coffee grinds all over the bottles. Next one. This is going to be a really long video. So if you're not really into scents, you might just want to go in and browse. Um, but there are, like I said, 14 different scents. And I'm going to give you an honest review of each one. So this one is Flying Fox. Flying Fox is one of my favorite Lush types. Let's see if they came close. So far, it smells like it might be. It's pretty darn close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good, that's a good one. On first impression, it does smell like Lion Fox. That's always my first worry is it's not going to smell really much like it. It's got very good jasmine scents. Um, yeah, it's nice. Almost, almost nature identical jasmine, I might add so you might not even have to boost it with any of your um, expensive essential oils if you, if you really like flying fox um hot butter popcorn this is for my um my bath my body scrub recipe hoping hoping spot on baby this reminds me of um Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. My favorite one is Buttered Popcorn. Never thought I'd use this scent in a soap, but this is gonna be, it's gonna be really neat. It'll really just up that maze kind of smell. Even the pro, no, I gotta. Okay, now there is a certain department store <laughs> that smells so strong in the mall at the Boise Town Square that I kind of avoid it and it's not lush. <laughs> it's a clothing store. So maybe I should leave this one for the last. It's Abercrombie and Finch. I ordered their scent. I wasn't sure if I liked it or if it was just too strong. We'll see. It might've been their advertising that was a little off-putting. I need to tone it down, guys. Okay, let's see. Yeah. This actually isn't, this is actually really good. This in the bottle isn't as strong as their store. <laughs> so either, I think it might work for me, but if you really, 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 really like that scent and want it super strong so people can smell you across the room, maybe not. Okay, that, that I like, that was okay. That was good. I will definitely use it. I needed some 
more perfumey, um, stronger masculine scents other than just water, which is this one, um, because I think they'll go really, really well. And it is another water scent, kind of a powdery water scent, in my opinion. A nice big. Mm, clean off my hands too. Now, coffee soap is one of my favorites because I'm also a baker and a cook because I have six children to feed. And I love to get creative, but I hate the smell of garlic on my hands. And about 20 years ago, I made Cook's Coffee Soap, which is one of my biggest sellers in my retailers, one of my biggest wholesale um, sellers. And I haven't made it in forever, but it'll be coming back. So watch for it. It's going to be better, kind of like my Afton Sunshine, uh, my mother's scent. Um, I really, really love that soap. I'm going to really have fun creating new um, designs for the flowers on that one. But it's still going to be yellows. It's going to be Peace Rose colors. Uh, Kentucky Bourbon. So let's see. I wasn't really fond of the mojito um, alcohol notes in that one, but where is that tropical mojito? But I love like rum scents and I love um, smoky whiskey scents. So I'm hoping this is going to be a little smoky. That's what I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to get. We'll see what we get, you know, like fire, right? I needed more masculine. I'm all, I'm all about the bakery scents. And when I get my order in from Nature's Garden, it's got all my bakery stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's definitely a nice, smooth Kentucky. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to come out in the soap. It's very subtle, but we'll see. We'll see if Kentucky Bird, this might be one that you mix maybe with the you know, I don't know. All right. All right. It's definitely one with um, softer notes. All right. So let's get into the fruit. ice type. And I'm not sure what black ice is supposed to be, but I wouldn't mind doing another black soap. I've got some really neat sprinkles. I'm sweet of Polita. That is definitely a masculine scent with fruity notes and musk. It's not green and it's not really water. It's more of a musk. That's nice. I like that. I, I really like that. That'll go into some of our, um, some of our products. So I'm going to be making a smaller mold to, um, accommodate the samples so I can really test them thoroughly and make some full size bars. Um, so watch for those. I'm going to make like mini, mini soap making demos. All right, because I know a lot of you aren't professional soap makers, so you're not going to make 18, 38 bars of soap at a time, or even 12. So I'm going to show you how to make smaller batches and get, like, just little bottles so you can make four, right? All right, Mango Paradise. And I've written a whole book on one-pen batches. Um, I really should get it up on my site, but there's, like, 100 recipes. Using really, oh, that reminds me. That reminds me of um, the triaminic orange <laughs> I had as a kid all the time. I was always sick. I was in ear infections. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Doesn't smell like mangoes and papayas. Triaminic orange, if it's still out there. It was really good stuff. But that's something I think I wanted to. I could definitely have to fix this. <laughs> Clear my mouth. I'm glad that was free. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> it's funny when you get that. That's familiar. Where do I know that from? And it's not somebody's face. It's something you've smelled. Okay. 
14 might have been a bit of a of a um a challenge so sour patch kids you know i like candies and i'm going to be doing a candy creation series with candies from around the world um including squish i don't know if you've seen squish or tried squish if you haven't tried squish it's a canadian company and it's incredible it's the best gummy candy in the world like i hope i i that i've ever tried and i've been to um uh, nordstrom's and their little um sugarfina that one's they have more than just gummies though but they're that quality and more um yeah, especially like their cocktail ones are my favorite. They're these little blue ice cubes. Okay, Sour Patch Kids from Aztec. Let's uh, quit going off topic here because, you know, we don't got like three days for the next five fragrances. Okay. Oh, it popped. Oh, that's a good candy scent. That'll be fun for the kids. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I hope it's strong enough. It is pretty strong. Um, not as strong as a <clears throat> triaminic one, but um, it actually smells like like citrus candies. Like it's got candy notes, but it's not like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. It's um, it's on its own. It, it yeah, it could definitely pass as a Sour Patch if you wanted to just use the fragrance as your. You could make little Sour Patch kid soaps to decorate the top. Super super easy peasy. If you've watched any of my molding ones. There'll be more of those coming out. Um, there's a mold mod that's pretty interesting when you buy a mold that's too small and you need to make it bigger. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. And so you can watch. So carrot cake. All right, it is spring and carrot cake flavorings haven't yet wowed me. Um, I tried the M&Ms, I tried the, the kisses and they're just too sweet. It's kind of like caramel corn when it's not Halloween. <laughs> when it's Halloween, they're great. This I'm going to use in a candle. That has like a Yankee candle smell to me. Yankee is one of my favorite. And it definitely does smell like spice cake. Um, that's, that's a definite win if you want a good bakery scent for candles. I don't know if it's even... Um, skin safe. They do differentiate between skin safe and candle safe, so pay attention to that because you don't want to buy something that's high in in cinnamons and that's going to burn somebody's skin because it wasn't designed for skin. Um, all right, so next one is birthday cake. Now, honestly, I haven't found birthday cake that I like. I have found quite a few vanillas that I do like. There's a vanillary dupe from another company that I just like, like, like. So this is birthday cake. No. This one does smell like buttercream. Maybe I'm looking for like an almond cake. So I might need to mix. Yeah, this is too sweet for my palate. This is like what you would put in the icing and then maybe you'd have a nice vanillary base. Something with more vanilla and less sugar, if that makes sense. So that's a no for me. But I will use it up and try to make up, like I'll probably do, I could do it, I, I would, I'd make a buttercream icing. So I could do, um, on my bath bombs, it would be an icing. So it actually would look like an icing. You need a good recipe for icing? Check out my website. I like mine. I like it a lot. Easy to pipe. I put it away and heat it up later. Um, Hawaiian Tropic type. Okay. Aztec. No, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna give it a good. Give it a good chance. And you know, aromatherapy is pretty, because this is basically what we're doing here. We're doing it with fragrance oils. Do I like it? Do I not like it? None of these things does my body need, but emotionally does it give me a reaction that's positive or negative? Um, so um, in aromatherapy, when you're doing essential oils, 
you'll find that one day you'll like it and the next day it's like the worst thing you've ever sent uh, sent it in your life and that's because um, the theory is if something makes you go now I've, if you've noticed I didn't do any big deep breaths with the fragrance oils because they aren't natural to the body um, that's normal when you're doing aromatherapy however if you go and it's an automatic response it's autonomic completely you do that big deep breath when you're and maybe we'll do um, an exercise with aromatherapy um, if anybody's interested put a comment in the box below on how I I, um, I do aromatherapy for myself this one is Hawaiian tropics and I don't don't do it with fragrance oils in fact I'm probably gonna have a headache after this because these are really complex whereas nature scents are often complex but they're complementary so if you're ever one of my favorite things to do is to pour essential oils like I can get a box from New Directions and pour it all out and my whole house smells amazing it's like being in a garden whereas the one thing I don't like to do is pour fragrance oils <clears throat> because they are often not complementary and give me a headache so but I do like um, these complex blends of fragrances from time to time um, actually most of the time I prefer them um, I prefer the essential oils for more of a medicinal um, therapeutic uh, scent. this is purely emotional you know scents that you can't create in nature like bubblegum or um, cotton candy. There is a, a connection in my brain of positive things and I like those kind of scents. I'll just layer the same scent and then it won't bother me at all. If I layered different scents, I'd have the same reaction as pouring um, fragrance oils. And I have a lot of experience pouring fragrance oils and essential oils because I used to have my own supply business. It was just local and I taught classes, which I am going to be starting up again as at least the classes. Um, I have no interest at all in carrying supplies other than what I'll provide in the classes. But, um, yeah, so the last one, no, this isn't the last one, Hawaiian Tropic Type. Now, I'm a little nervous. I've been kind of putting this off because I didn't like the papaya, which is a paradise one. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I trust. Isn't that funny? You get one that's kind of yicky and then you're like, oh. This is nice. This is this is really really nice. It's um, a lot of pineapple. A lot a lot of pineapple. A little bit of banana. I could use this to make um, a sun tanning oil or a sun sunblock. This gives me this reminds me of summertime, and I like it. I like that a lot. Almost like Hawaiian tropics. But I can't use it because I'm <sighs> pigmentation impaired. All right, cashmere petals. Um, it was a funny story. I was looking for a cashmere scent. And when I realized that it was Love Spell, <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> now, soap markers change the name of their soap to reflect how it looks and how it smells and what they imagined so you know there are a few um well it was a close close match to a love spell there's no way it could be the same because it was a foreign um it was a european one and i could be wrong it just had that same notes to me so i was looking for cashmere 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 i couldn't find it this again is a perfumey scent. We'll see how it holds up in soap. It's got lighter citrusy notes. I like it. I like it. I just got a little bit, so I'm not sure. I like that. I, yeah, I could use that in a lotion. I like designer fragrances, just like I like these kind of fragrances, but just one at a time. All right, so that's everything. Here, let's pan it over. So that's everything I got. Um, as a quick um, look of my favorites, top 
five, banana split, number one, flying fox, number two, hot buttered pop, buttered popcorn, number three, sour patch kids, number four, and Hawaiian type, number five. All right, until um, next time, this is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps, and if you want um, to try out Aztec Candle, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. There's only one scent that I didn't really like, and yeah, I will be using it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was free, so free is good. So if there's a scent that you're interested in, but you're not really committed to, and you think might work, but you, if you buy one, you know you want, you get one free. All right, so I'll see you next time on the Gen Spice channel. This is Jennifer signing out. Click like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And we'll see you next time on at Gentle Soaps. Bye-bye for now.